MBA, head on, female 26, right femur fracture and facial lacerations. Male 28, he's got pain to his sternum, pelvis, pain over C2 and numbness down his left side. Okay, some help here, please. Let's get a cubicle two, him to recess carefully, very carefully. One, two, three. What's your name? Uh, Jamie. Okay, Jamie. My name's Sarah. I'm one of the doctors here. I'm just going to have a look at your leg. Oh. Should be making any sense? No. But Jamie, it's really important that you tell me where you're sore. Excellent. You keep your eyes open. That's really good. Pupils are pretty dilated. Reckon it's a head injury? Yeah, either that or a bad drug reaction. Jamie, have you taken drugs in the last 24 hours? Oh. You're not going to get in any trouble. It's really important that you tell us. Okay, did your boyfriend take drugs too? Look, it's important that you tell us before we give your boyfriend other drugs. Mushrooms. Did you give her anything on route? One litre of saline. No, don't do that. They're taking mushrooms. My girl's had a bad reaction. Uh, we need a toxicology screen. What's up with that? Yeah. Nothing, I'm fine. What's up? I need you to hold a wrist for me. What's this? I've decided to take the project manager contract. What happened to career first? Three months is no big deal. And I've realised that this is a, a big part of us. And that us is more important right now. But that's not to say I've lowered my sights. I've had a few thoughts on the career front. It's a given that you have to be here while the restructure takes place. But once that's done, there's nothing stopping you handing the baton to the next guy. In fact, I could work your exit strategy into my plan. Yeah, I suppose you could. That way, if a great job comes up overseas, you've got the option of coming too. The option? I was under the impression that we'd made a commitment to each other. What, what, what does that mean? Uh, that I'm expendable? Of course not. The whole reason I'm doing this is so that we can stay together. Right. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. OK, so just try to relax. Nice, slow breaths. That's it. One. Your leg's still playing up, I see. Is it your MS? Yeah, it could be. Thanks to your complete brilliance, our MBA couple is stable, my voice lucid, and the C-spine x rays clear. Thank God for that. Yeah, it's a good thing you're only temporary. We wouldn't want you hanging around showing me up. Hey, uh, nice work in recess. Better get back to my asthma patient. Hey, um, I don't know if I should mention it or not, but Sarah was limping before. Are you sure she's okay to work? Oh, wouldn't worry. She was safe, she had a problem. What are you downing pills for? Oh, it's just a headache. Well, that's not like you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? Maybe you should get a checkup if you. For the third and final time, it's a headache. What's your problem? I'll stay out of your way. Good. And while you're at it, try sorting yourself out. You and Rachel, you're on the verge of being embarrassing. It's obvious you've got a thing for her. Either do something about it or move on with your life. What, what did you just say? I don't know if it's denial or you just haven't got the guts, but I'm overseeing you two gagging for each other. I'm not just... listening to any more of this. Who the hell do you think you are? You're out of order. You got it all wrong. I beg to differ. <laughs> yep, there is definitely something dodgy in there. OK, migraine, discharged with drugs. Collie's fracture set and dispatched. The appendix is en route to theatre, and I am just about to see the boy with the foreign body in his eye. Can't remember the last time we had throughput this good. Uh, you wouldn't, because it would have been when I was in charge, so watch out, Junior. <laughs> How's your leg? You noticed. Of course. It's a bit tingly, but I'll be fine today. I cannot tell you how much I am enjoying this. Thank you so much for letting me come and play. Any time. Mm -hmm. All right, Hamish. I am going to wash that eye out with saline. See if we can't get rid of that greebly. Now, that will be a little bit uncomfortable, but it won't hurt, I promise. So you just give me two minutes. I'll go and grab my gear, and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay. Are you OK? Yeah, um, I'm fine. Don't leave stuff lying around for people to trip over. It's so basic. I, I thought I'd put it away. Right? Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's nothing. OK, but I'm not having you tripping again. How about we leave it for today? 
No, I'm fine. I've still got stuff to do. Well, things have slowed down. We can cover. But I'm with a patient right now. I'll sort it. Thank you. And look, don't be sad, OK? I wouldn't have coped today without you. It's not the MS, all right? Clumsy me just tripped. OK, either way, I'm sending you home. OK, we've got things under control.